All right. So in this problem, we have uh, a situation where there are different rates and times. And if we jump to the end of the problem, we realize we're trying to find how long did Willow spend on the train. So how long? We're looking for a time measurement here. And I'm thinking, well, even before I read this problem, I'm thinking, all right, well, we're going to look at some rates. So I'm going to set up a table. And we are going to look at the time it takes. Okay, or maybe even calculate that. And then look at the distance. Okay. So what categories do we have? Well, let's read the problem. Well, it says here that Willow took a trip from city A to city B. And the distance was 300 miles. Okay, so that's, a, that's our distance right there. And I'm thinking, okay, well, that's our distance in this problem. Let's keep going. She traveled part of the way by bus, which arrived at the train station just in time for Willow to complete her journey by train. So we've got a bus and a train. All right, this is getting exciting. So we've got train and we've got a bus. What do we know about the train and the bus? Well, the bus um, is averaging 40 miles per hour. Okay, so it's so if we look at the rate for the for the bus, uh, it's 40, right? 40 miles per hour, and the train is 60 miles an hour. So here, the train rate will be 60 miles an hour, and the bus rate will be 40 miles an hour. And let's think about the time. Well, if let's start with the bus. If we if we travel by bus, uh, since that was first, that's some time t. And in total, we know that there are six hours she's traveling. So six minus t will be the time spent on the train. What the distance we're here? Well, we know the total distance is 300 miles, but let's let's go a little bit further. If we do rate times time, that gives us distance. So here for the train, it would be 60 times 6 minus t. That will give us the distance of the train, and 40 times t. That will give us the distance of the bus. And if we put these together, 60 times 6 minus t, and 40 times t, we're going to get the total distance of the trip, 300 miles. And now I, I like this because if we solve it, we get a value for t, which is the time, and that will solve out on the problem. So 60 min times 6, excuse me, is 360, and 60 times minus t is minus 60t, plus 40t equals 300. All right. We subtract 360 from both sides. That gives us negative 60 over here. We add negative 60 and positive 40 is negative 20. T divide by negative 20, and we get 3. So this was a 3-hour trip. Now, I, I think it does make sense to kind of uh, work this out by checking real quick. So if it's a 3-hour trip, so we know that for 3 hours, she was traveling at 40 miles per hour. So 3 times 4 is you could travel 120 miles by bus. Okay, and then we know for three hours she was traveling by train. So how do I know that? Because six minus three is three, and that's this the time here for the train. So three times sixty is one eighty, and that's going by train. Okay, put these together. That makes three hundred miles. All right. Hope this helped.